Hi. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. <laughs> I don't know where you are now, but uh, be very welcome here. I'm, my name is Nelson Faria. I'm a Brazilian guitar player, and I have uh, been playing and teaching for more than 40 years. Uh, I have written this uh, books about Brazilian music, uh, the Brazilian guitar book, and uh, inside the Brazilian rhythm section, with, which I did with my friend pian piano player Cliff Corman. Also, I did a, a book here in Brazil called um, Play Along Bossa Nova, and I have also worked all around. <laughs> I've been for eight years in in Sweden uh, at the university teaching Brazilian music. So, be everybody very welcome. Today I'll be uh, showing you in, in detail how to play samba and bossa nova, the most uh, well-known Brazilian uh, rhythms and styles. And um, I, will show, I will show you the patterns, where it came from, and uh, all the variations, not all of them, but many variations. The first thing I would like to tell you about Brazilian music, which, uh, which I think it's a very important thing to understand, is uh, how we work the subdivision in Brazilian music. In Brazilian music, we usually write in 2-4, samba and bossa nova, uh, so in Brazil, we always write in 2-4. Sometimes I see many uh, written music in 4-4, four, four, but then 4-4 uh, uh, four, four is really strange for Brazilian music. If you want to feel the, the, the subdivisions in, uh, in, in uh, 8 notes instead of 16 notes, so you should write in 2-2. In, uh, two, two. That's better, right? Uh, so, I will talk about uh, the subdivisions in 2-4, which is the feeling for the Brazilian music, how we feel the music. Um, in jazz, usually, not usually, but in jazz, always you feel the music in, uh, in, uh, in triplet feel. Like, every beat, for every, every beat, you have three notes, like you have... In Brazilian music, we feel this with 16 notes. So it's tiki 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 Right? So uh, I will show you this in, in the music if um, you have the PDF on hands. Maybe you're not yet. So the first thing I forgot to say, download the PDF. There's a PDF so you can follow this this uh, this lesson. But anyway, I can also show on the screen here some things. So I, I want to show you the first um, first music that's written showing the subdivision. This is how we feel the Brazilian music. One and two. It's two beats per bar. And uh, we have the 16 notes uh, making the subdivision. Tiki chiki tiki chiki tiki 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 tiki. And uh, usually we have this accent. We can we can make different accents, but on the 16 notes straight we have accents on the on the first and the last 16 uh, in the the six, 16 group 16 notes group like tiki 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 tiki. I will show you the instrument that plays 16 notes all the time. This is very important. Why I started with this? Because this is what you have to to keep in mind when you are playing the music, Brazilian music, bossa nova or samba. You have to have this tiki 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 in your mind, in your in your back 
in the back of your mind when you play. So anything you do. This tiki shiki tiki shiki tiki shiki tiki should be always happening. Uh, and uh, I will I will be talking about bossa nova and samba, but actually bossa nova it came from samba. If you want to try to um, describe, you know or see what, what's the difference between samba and bossa nova. Many people ask this to me. What's the difference between samba and bossa nova? Samba and bossa nova, basically, they use the same patterns, the same rhythm patterns, but they come from different backgrounds. Samba, it's important to understand this to, to play the music. Samba, it's, um, it's uh, the music, the samba, it came from... Uh, it's, a, it's the music that happened on the streets or originally, right? So usually it's, it's played loud uh, with uh, percussion instruments, different percussion instruments, and um, singing out loud, usually no harmony, just rhythm and voice. So when we have harmony, then it's uh, very basic harmonies uh, and played by a cavaquin, which is a very small guitar. Could also play on the guitar and everything, but but where it came from was basically percussion and voice, and it, it was loud. Was you know the sun was hot and you know warm and sweating and uh, playing loud and partying and everything. The bossa nova, it 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 comes from a very different uh, place. Where so bossa nova it came from, uh, it was played, it was born on the apartments on the rich area in Rio, uh, which were Copacabana by that time, Ipanema and Copacabana, the south area of Rio. And uh, in those apartments, that people from middle and high class, they were playing samba, which came from the streets, but they have to play very soft because to be polite in apartment, you know, you, sh you shouldn't play loud, and don't bother your neighbors. So they use, they play on gu nylon strings guitar, they use brushes on the drums, and usually in the in the bossa nova scene, or even in many recordings, there was no snare drum. They were playing over over a phone book. You know, it's the brushes over a phone book. So people were singing very uh, uh, soft. So it's like. So samba is much more like. It's much more out loud, and and the guitar was played hard and cavaquin. But not the bossa nova. The bossa nova is very calm and and quiet quiet nights and quiet stars and you know this kind of things and uh so this basically are the differences between samba and bossa nova but but the 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 rhythm patterns they are almost the same uh samba it's more syncopated if we want to have a like a description of this samba you can you can say that samba the rhythms are more syncopated and the harmonies are more basic sounds triads and you know basic sounds and bossa nova it's less syncopated with more uh, advanced or more complex harmonies with tensions and you know seventh chords and inversions and everything so Basically, this is the difference. But bossa nova came from samba, so it's important for us to understand uh, the how samba, uh, how, how the rhythm of samba, it's formed. And um, I'd like to show you this here. It's on the first page of our, our PDF. If you already 
downloaded. But you will see three levels of uh, rhythm going on at the same time in the samba. So you have the bottom level that's playing one and two, right? It's the third line. It's playing only one and two. The one is short and the two is long. So you have you have this uh, this sound, bi, boom, bi, boom, bi, boom, bi, boom, bi, and this is played by a instrument called surdo, which is a very big tom. Uh, usually they play with two two toms, like sometimes it's a, a small tom like this playing the one, and a bigger one playing the two. So two people playing one, two, boom, boom, bi. So we have a higher pitch in the first beat and a, a lower pitch in the second beat. This is already something for, for us to pay attention. I see a lot of people playing samba doing low, this would never happen because the, 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 the first beat is played by a, by a, a high pitch, a, a higher pitch. Uh, tone, it's a low tone but higher pitch, and then a huge one that very low pitch. So you listen this, pi, bom, bi, bom, bi. So the first, if you play this on guitar, always the second beat should be lower than the first. You should always play. If I play this chord here, I would play, boom, boom, bi, boom, bi, boom, bi. See, first one is short, second one is long, pi. Because what we do on guitar, we try to simulate what's happening on the rhythm section. So, the second layer, it's our 16 notes. As you saw the my friend Rodolfo playing in, a, in the in shaker. So this is played by shakers, by uh, snare, snare drums, by... Um, uh, heku heku. There are many instruments that can play the second second layer. So when you put these two together, it's like right. You have to have this in your mind how it sounds. The top layer then. It's uh, it's player it's it's played by high pitched instruments like this one. This is a very high uh, tom, which is a we call tambourine. And um, this top layer, I wrote some accents there, but it can have many different variations on this. Uh, This is played by instruments like this, but also by agogos, which is like uh, cowbells or uh, uh, cuicas, any instrument that have more high pitch instruments, uh, percussion instruments. So this one would, would go like this. One, two, one. Right? One thing is very important to understand about this, this line that I wrote there. Uh, if you if you take a look on this, you see that the first measure, it's syncopated, and the second measure, it's on the beat. So the first measure, one, two, uh, it's syncopated. The second measure starts on the beat, right? So you have this one, two, sorry, one, two, one. Right? Uh, one huge uh, misunderstanding that I see, uh, it's that people usually play this backwards. I heard, I, I, I already heard a lot of people, oh, let's play a samba, oh yes, and then take a tambourine or take the guitar or anything and play like this. One, two. Or, or it's like, da, da.
So it's playing like, instead of, uh, it's playing more actually like this. Right? Uh, when it's exactly the opposite, it's like one, two, catch, 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 deck, 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 catch, 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 deck, 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 deck. This is an important thing to understand. Uh, I, I, I have, I have seen this too much. <laughs> maybe uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, figure backwards. People playing like pa pa pa, touch, 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 to touch, pa pa pa. And actually, it's the opposite. One, two, catch, 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 good deck, 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 catch, 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 good deck, 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 right? Yeah, this pattern now I played starting on the last 16 note there. So it's like one, two, that, 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 right? These three layers together. You know the 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 bottom one playing one and two, ding, boom, ding, boom, ding. The middle one playing the sixteen notes, ding, skitung, skitik, skitung, skitik, skitung, skitik, skitung. And the top one playing syncopations, tik, skitung, skitik, skitung, get, catch, catch, good deck, deck, good deck, catch, 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 deck, catch, good deck, catch, 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 good deck, 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 catch. This all together forms what we call the samba the samba groove i will we will show you this uh, with uh, with instruments so you can see how it goes Okay, as you see, the, the samba groove is taking these three layers together and, and the samba goes like this, mixing all those rhythms. What Bossa Nova did, because what Bossa Nova did was, Bossa Nova was trying to, uh, trying to play the samba, but uh, condensing a lot the rhythms. Um, less syncopations and um, trying to get the 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 very I mean trying to condense this in something that you can could play and not so not so syncopated so what João Gilberto did actually João Gilberto took this second bar there in the tambourine pa 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 right pa pa this. Da, da, ka, ka. Da, da, da. And if you tie, if you tie the last 16, last 16, last 16 notes uh, to the first, you have pa pa ta pa 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 ka 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 ka. But what João Gilberto did actually, he took just the three, just these three notes here, and he did ta ta. Pa, 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 pa. And this became the bossa nova basic pattern. This one. Check it out. Oops, wait. Next page. This one. Oops, this one. Pa, 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 pa. So it's just the top and the bottom, the bottom layer, and very, very simplified. Check my, my my right hand. So 
You can practice using like a C6-9 chord. And if you want to play with me, we can play together. Play, come and play along with me. One, two, one, and two, and. This is a very basic uh, bossa nova uh, groove, and it came from that samba, you know, batucada. That's three layers doing different rhythms. But then João Gilberto just took this small part, pa pa pa, which is a small part of the second bar, right? And and uh, he made the bossa nova groove from that. But before we start really playing the, the grooves here, I would like to go a little bit before and, and talk about syncopation. Uh, the, the samba and bossa nova, it's always played with more or less, but always played with syncopated rhythms. And how to syncopate a figure? What is uh, uh, syncopating? I, I, I guess you you probably all know, but basically syncopation is when you you take uh, the strong uh, accent uh, out from the strong beat. So instead of playing, if I play uh, quarter notes, I will play. Uh, if I play eight notes, sorry, I will play one, two. Right? One and two and. Right? One, two. If I syncopate all the notes in this figure, this eight notes, if I play every eight note, uh, a 16 note before, I would play one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So instead of one, two, it's exactly the same thing, but it's it's displaced a 16 note. It's a 16 note syncopated. So this figure pa 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 becomes pa becomes one two pa 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 two one two one two one two one right. I will do this now uh, note by note. So you can understand this uh, more precisely. Check this first figure there. This first figure is uh, the eighth note figure. So I could play this even putting my my the bass here one and two. One, two. One. This is straight eights. Now, if I syncopate that that um, half note and played a 16 note before, we will we, we, we become this. It's very important to feel this uh, this syncopation. I have my tiki 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 Okay, then if you want to syncopate one more note, then become Then the third one 
syncopating one more note becomes one, two, one and two and okay. and finally the the last one that's one syncopating every note one two See, I'm playing the one and the two all the time here. And in this last figure, the first, the very first uh, hit, I play thumb and fingers together, but then they never get back together again. And if I want to like repeat the the, if I want to repeat the first. Uh, uh, just the first measure and, and tie the, the last 16 note to the first 16 note then becomes this is very important to practice one two one two one two one two one two there are many songs in Brazilian music that they go exactly like this they go uh, like off uh, desafinado. See the note. The song goes all the time. All the time in playing Pongo, Gang, Gang, This is something to practice. Really, really important. Before we before anything, understanding the, the syncopations, how to play the syncopation. So you can practice this uh, like this very slow. Right? Remember a song is always good, you know? Which is very strange because I, I saw on real book it it, it was Desafinado was written like in in in, in straight straight eights. It was like da da de da 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 de do de, and it's not. It's like one, two, ba da de da 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 de da de o do. Here is the swing, you know, the Brazilian swing, uh, that we should not lose. Okay, so. Let's start with uh, simpler things, but very important. Let's start with that bossa nova pattern. This bossa nova basic pattern we have played, I would suggest you to play with, uh, with uh, like a C69 chord. But also, I would like you to, I would like you to practice with, um, with always with the help of some percussion. This first bossa nova, I would like to practice with you now with uh, bossa nova drums, just with the drum. One and two and. If you can take a look in my right hand. No 
notice that I'm uh, playing the bass root and fifth. Root on the first beat, fifth on the second beat. most easy and most simple bossa nova uh, pattern groove. We will go through many different ones here. Um, so the first thing to understand, important to understand, is that I don't know if you remember, but I, you should remember, that this measure we just played in the samba, in the samba full groove, which is uh, a phrase of two bars. This one is the second bar. So it's like we are playing the second bar all the time. Right? Ting, 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 ping, ting, ping. One important thing to understand. Uh, the first bar or the first measure, if you have, if you have uh, two measures, um, uh, two measures, uh, pattern or groove, the first measure should be always syncopation, syncopated and the second one on the beat. Now I'm showing you a syncopated measure, right? Which is the same, the same one, but making a 16 note syncopation. So you go like one, two, one, two, Now it's the same the same thing, but it's syncopated. If I want to make a two bars, a two two measures phrase, I will play this one first and then the other will play like because it's like the melodies are like this. The melodies, usually they syncopate the first measure and then they are on the beat on the second measure. So, one, two, bang, bang, bang. So, I'm now uh, varying between this uh, pattern, this variation, and the basic one. Or I can play only the variation. So I'm. I'm 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 syncopating both bars if our two measures. It's like this. Right? Always syncopating. And now I want to to call attention for another uh, misunderstanding that I see a lot. Um, when we have a syncopated note in a in a figure this what happened like take this last synco last 16 note that's last 16 note that's syncopating the next bar uh, this last 16 note it brought the sound of the next bar to this bar so in that last note you should you should play already the next chord. So you, if you have different chords uh, in a progression and you're playing this syncopated uh, groove, you will see that the chord will change first and then the bass. I will play this progression like a turnaround. One, six, two, five, one, okay? Playing this groove will be like this. Chord and then bass. A huge misunderstanding that I see a lot is people that play the syncopated, less syncopated note in the same chord. 
So it becomes like this. I, I can't even play like this. But I saw this, I already saw this so much, maybe too much again. P people playing like. This is killing the syncopation. Well, that's that's what I call killing the syncopation. You know, you, you should play chord, chord. So you change the chord in the last 16 note. So it's always chord and then bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass. So uh, let's let's practice with that uh, bossa nova groove once more, but playing this, uh, playing the syncopation, okay? Let's try. So the chords are C6 and then 6 9, then A7 sharp 11th, and then D minor 9, then G7 flat 13. Yeah. Okay. say one thing here. Uh, notice that when I have the root uh, on the fifth string, then it's easy for me to play the fifth on the second beat, like But when I have the root here on the sixth string, I, I only have the, the fifth available here or open string. But usually when I'm in the sixth string, I don't have a lower fifth to play. So I keep the same note, playing the same note. So I, I do like this. Uh, one and two. Sorry. Uh, same note. This uh, this tip actually I'm I'm giving you here to play uh, the chords uh, the syncopated note the syncopated chord before the bass. This is a simple thing, but makes a huge difference. 
compute. I don't know if you notice this. I see many people doing the, the wrong way. Doing like this is wrong. Wrong. This is right. I'm just giving you some other variations, things that you can play. Um, you, you will see that mostly of the variations, they keep the same, uh, the same idea, the same pattern, but just changing, you know, one syncopate, syncopated note here and other there. So this uh, variation two, it's like this. Variation three is the same, the same pattern, but with the syncopation. So it's ding, 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 ding. can practice this a little bit. Let's play variation two for a while and then we play variation three. Let's go. C6. With the syncopated note. Like one, two, one, and two. to change chords. Uh. Basic, the basic boss. This also works. You can play the whole song like this. There's a there's a version of João Gilberto playing uh, How Insensitive that he plays just this just this pattern all the time.
just this chun chun kung ching ching kung ching, which is this uh, uh, the bossa nova basic pattern. It's like the first bar on bossa nova variation two, and not playing the 16 note syncopated there, the last one. Just pa pa pa, ping ping pa pa, and and repeating the 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 first measure all the time. Ting, ting. So if you just learn this one, you already uh, can play any song <laughs> in Bossa Nova. It's just play, learning this. And then it's together on the first beat. Always together on the first beat. One, two. Pattern. This is the variation one, one and two and. This is variation two. And this is variation three. One. Okay, and why I'm showing all these variations? Because in Bossa Nova, or in Samba, or in Bossa Nova, whatever, we don't keep the same groove all the time. We vary, we improvise with the patterns. Depends on the melody, depends on the, uh, on the what, what's happening on the rhythm section. Then we play, we syncopate, we don't, right? So we vary all the time. There's one more variation here that I would like to show you. This variation, Bossa Nova variation four. Uh, is this one here. Check it out. Variation four goes. Pa ba pa ba ta da ta da pa. One interesting thing about this one. Uh, see, on the, the first measure, uh, I have a 16 note syncopate, a, a syncopated 16 note on the first measure going to the second. And there's an, another 16 note just before, right? The chord should change in these 16 notes here. So make pa ba, pa ba, pa ba. Here you change the chord. Oh. So uh, it's very important to 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 feel this uh, slightly. Uh, uh, how do 
I say? I forgot my name. Is my this subtleties. If I play just one and five. step up this this happens a lot when you play like singers pause or places that you can do this but also you can you can play this in a progression like I have this progression here to practice this uh, as a suggestion take a look uh. Uh. playing the pattern it's like one note samba you were playing just the groove uh, and the chords and it's it's already the chord melody there. Right? So this was the 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 groove for the variation four. Pa ba pa ba pa ba pa ba tum pa ba pa da pa da pa da. Right? Um, I will go over the the. Let me see over this. Chan 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 pa pa. I will play. Uh, bossa nova variation two, three, and four uh, using this same groove. Oh. This is variation two. Three, one, two, one, and two. The difference is only the single page. Examples of how to play variation two, three, and four, and it's it's good to practice with the loops. Now I will use all, uh, I will vary between all these variations. I showed you now, like.
So, um, these are the patterns and some suggestions that I uh, brought for Bossa Nova. Now let's go for the samba part. And uh, you see that the, the, the patterns are basically the same. So the basic pattern for samba, it's already the first variation for Bossa Nova, because samba doesn't have this, this one. Ta, 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 pa, pa, pa. So it's already. Um, let's take this first one. I can play like I, I let me play a samba groove here. the basic the basic samba and uh, let me take the variation one so we practice uh, basic and variation the variation was like this uh, I'm, pu I'm putting there a, a, a eight note syncopation one two this is a good one Want to get to want to get to get go. As I said in the beginning, you should always keep this 16 notes in your head, tick, shiki, tick, tick, so you can feel where these syncopations are, because you have all the subdivisions here. So, so you have this right? and if you listen with the the percussion loop it, they are playing this chiki chiki tick all the time go to the basic pattern. Of 
chords for practicing this. I like open strings. So, this chord, A minor, then flat six, then six, and then flat six. The chorus like this. Now, if you play like uh, just the, the basic pattern here in this samba. My, my bass playing one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm playing the chords A minor, A minor flat six, A minor six, A minor nine. There's a nine here in the open string, right? I just go up in this note. And then I have the basic groove. And um, if I want to play the the other one. Be like this. There's a, one interesting thing here. Sometimes uh, I will go a little bit farther here. Uh, sometimes in the samba session. Uh, we have not just two surdos that play the the bottom bottom layer there, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. but some, sometimes we have a third one, uh, even higher in the pitch, that play uh, improvised syncopations there. So why why these two guys are playing bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. the other one is doing bing, He's playing like syncopated things on the, on the bottom part, the bottom part. And, and sometimes what I do here is like, if I have this, uh, one, two, boom. Instead of, instead of doing this syncopation here, uh, see, oh, see, one, two, three. see that I have a syncopation here, so maybe my right hand, please, now see, one, two, see I have the syncopation that I play here, the chords and then the bass, uh, see, one, two, Sometimes I play the syncopated note on the bass. Check it out. One, two. See, I'm accenting this bass note syncopate, syncopation here so you can See. Right? So, 
This is, uh, you can practice this with this uh, samba groove there. Okay. Um, another one. Uh, let me see. Another one you can practice. This variation three, it's very, very useful. This one is the, it's the result of syncopating every, every uh, eighth note. Remember, when you have this one, two. Listen with this. This is this is what we we talked about in the very beginning. Remember, instead of playing ting 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 all eight notes, you syncopate by a sixteen note every note. So it becomes one, two, right? And if you repeat this, it becomes one, two. Listen this with the help of our friends' percussion. The suggestion of playing this. In the scores. Turn around. One, six, two, five, one. Six. Let's do it slowly on this. This is a good one. I'm playing C7, B flat 7, A7, E flat 7, 1, 6, 2, 5 with uh, sub 5s. 2, uh, so D7, A flat 7, G7, D flat 7, and start it again. And always playing syncopated, uh, the syncopated chords with my fingers one and two. I'm just, I'm just playing three notes, third, third, seven, and and root. So it's like this. So one, two, Slowly, so we can play together. So you can play along. So one, two, 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 one, two, 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 two,
with the rhythm section. Actually, I, I, I ended here and I did uh, one variation called Partido Alto. Which is the next one here, Partido Alto. Check this out. This is interesting. I put this two here. This groove is like very straight on the first bar. And then the second bar here is like the second the second measure in, in the samba groove. But the first one is very straight. Uh, we, have the, we have this first syncopation here, but then this is straight eighths. So uh, it, it becomes like this. Uh, one and two and two. Check this out with the Partido Alto groove. Samba groove. Let me put the partido alto. Uh, this one here. So the Partido Alto has this, this accent, it's like the pandeiro, I don't know if you know the pandeiro, it's like the, 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 the tambourine but with the, with the skin, so it goes like this. This is a very, it's a very uh, used uh, pattern to play. Uh, From Bosco have this one. Do do Partido Alto groove, and uh, this this groove has also this. Uh, sometimes we play what we call a pickup bar. It's like straight, straight eight notes, the f the very first bar, and then we play um, the second measure of the groove, but playing a little sixteen note there, uh, and then we play the groove again. 
So uh, we play like this. Uh, uh, this this uh, pickup bar, it it works very well if you you have if you have a different section. If you're starting a new section in song in a song, uh, for example, if I have this. Uh, this is your being song. Okay, I played the, the intro. Now I will start with the groove. So then I can start with the pickup bar. So it's the bam 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 bum pa ro bum bum bing bum 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 So the first bar me being like this pickup bar, it's it's very comfortable, gives a comfort like ti 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 two one and two and one. Then you play the song. Up bar. See, I, when I'm playing here, I'm, I'm mixing uh, all the variations, you know, all these patterns together. We, we don't, we don't stick with one one groove, right? Uh, let me see what kind of practice I have here. Okay, I have this. Uh, this is interesting. Check it out. Uh, actually, I did here when I was playing the Samba do Avion. <laughs> This is very, very, very use, useful. What is this? If you take all the 16 notes and you group them by three. So you, if you have tiki 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 16 notes, but grouping by three will be pang 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 pang, right? Ting 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 ting. This is 16 notes. Tiki 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 tiki, but one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, bang 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 bang, right? And so this what I just played is the the bottom line, bang 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 bang. The top line it's exactly the same, but displaced one sixteen note. So we one like one, two, one, two, one, bang 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 bang. One, two, one, two, one, pam, 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 pam. Right? So if we play both together, we'll be like the first one, the 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 bass. One, two, one, two. Bing, bing. The top chords. One, two, one. Put them together. This is very uh, useful for uh, for turnarounds when you are uh, like this example here. Check it out. I have here the pickup bar. This musical example. I have the pickup bar. Then I have the second measure of the groove. Then I have here a partido alto groove, right? And there. So if I play this, let me play this with. Uh... Bye. 
Okay. The last, the last two bars. I, I did this. To get, to get, to get, to get. Exactly that uh, pattern when, I, when I'm uh, putting together three 16 notes, but displace it by a 16. So it's like. Right? So this whole musical idea there. One and two and. to practice with some rhythm in the background but just tapping one and two is okay also back more so you get the idea. Of course, the more, it's, it's like vocabulary, the more patterns you know, the more freedom you have to play, right? Because you will improvise with all these patterns. But before you improvise, you have to have them very, very, um, very well assimilated. You have to have this in your heart, in your skin, in your, you know, in your body. So first, learn all the patterns. I know it's a lot of information for only two hours. Uh, learn all the patterns. Um, play them as much as you can. Try to apply them to the songs you know. And, and, and soon you will get more fluent with it. Right? Uh, I would like to show you one more pattern that I use a lot. And I think it's, uh, it's pretty useful. Because... I don't know if you notice, but until now, all the patterns I played here, they only play the top layer and the bottom layer in the samba groove. You know, you play syncopations here and bass here, right? But there is a way to play all three uh, layers together. And I do this alternating my, my, my fingers in the right hand. So playing up and down. So, uh, this uh, variation there, that you can see, let me put it more in uh, here. Uh, it have, like, when you have a V, it's like up, uh, up stroke, and 
then when you have this, uh, I don't know what we call that, it's a downstroke, right? And so it's like up, up, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up. It's, this is something to practice. Up, up, down, up, up. Up, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down. And to do this, it's important to have fingernails. Sometimes, if it's too fast, and if you want to put all the 16 notes together, then it's good to use this trick. Right? And, and, and then, how do you accent the notes? by pressing and, and releasing your left hand. So you play all the notes. And then you do. Let me play this with the with groove, percussion groove. And, and, and the X, oh sorry, in the X in the notes there is where I release, right, my left hand. So it's ba, this will be a ghost note. Da, 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 da. So sometimes this this downbeat, it's uh, with the chord pressed, and then sometimes with it's with the chord released, so it's just a percussion. See. So when I do this, I keep the 16 notes flow going on the time. And then the bass. So when I play this, then I can make the three layers at the same time. This is a, a nice trick that I want to share with you. So please. Take it home with you. <laughs> have fun. Okay. So that's about what I have to to show you this, what I prepared to show you in this uh, workshop. Where it starts, where the bossa nova came from, how the samba groove is grow it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's structured and some patterns, some variations. Uh, but there's much more <laughs> than this and each song we play uh, asks us for a different pattern, a different type of uh, um, approach. So, if you want more time to go over this material, not only this material, I have then a, 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 
more material, four songs, different songs that we'll be working, we will have this crash course. It's called a crash course. I mean, it's a uh, one month. And um, we will work basically on songs. We'll be four songs, comping and chord melody. You have uh, two, two lessons a week with video, in video, and one live with me in Zoom. So you have, you have a lesson, uh, uh, one week for each song, one lesson only for the comping, one lesson only for the chord melody, and then we have a Zoom together so you can ask questions. Then the next week will be another song, and then the other week another song, and then another song. And so if you are interested, I have this propose for you, okay? Starting June 12th. So if you want, uh, just click the link or click somewhere. There's a, there, there will be a place for you to click. All right. So thank you very much, you all. I hope to see you on the crash course, okay? Thank you.